Motocross the Nation is kind of the Olympics of, uh, of our sport. These days we compete uh, with three riders representing uh, each country and uh, probably this weekend there will be uh, around 40 countries uh, represented and um, they take the, the best result from uh, the three riders co and combine it and that uh, decides which country is on top. Well the Motocross of Nations is basically the, the greatest, most important race of, of motocross. It's definitely uh, a lot of talent, a lot of great guys showing up and, uh, and overall just for myself to be able to represent my country, um, very, very honored. Yeah, the track at Lomo is a very sandy track. It's also the track where the U.S. won uh, for the first time the Motocross of Nations, uh, and that was in 1981. So it's been uh, 31 years now. It looks good. I actually uh, looks like the track's got some flow to it. The, the sand looks pretty. Like it's going to be pretty deep. Obviously, it'll get rough. So it'll be interesting. Lommel is very different from uh, the tracks that we are used to in the States and that's why we, uh, the, the riders and the teams came out, came out early so that we could practice on, the, on those conditions and get the bike set up, getting the riders uh, used to it. The sand here is definitely pretty deep. It's, it's really cool actually because I grew up as a kid riding a lot of sand in it and it's somewhat similar to where I grew up at and it doesn't have a hard base. So you're, you're always, you know, the, the track's getting rougher continually every lap and you can notice it, but it's fun, you know, sand is always a, a challenge. It's, it's always really unpredicting and um, it, it's been a lot of fun setting my bike up today and getting things, getting things rolling. We, we expect pretty good competition from the sand specialists from, uh, from the Netherlands, from Belgium, and actually uh, the Germans have a good team also and uh, France. France could be strong too. It's not rough yet, but uh, you know, I think it's better to, to start riding in the sand right now and the track is, is nice with some ruts and then it will get rougher and rougher and then we get used to it, so you're okay. There is only three riders uh, per country, uh, one MX-1, one MX-2 and one open class. So. For me, it means a lot, and uh, that's my uh, fourth uh, participation of Morocco of Nations, so really happy about that. You know, be second in Morocco of Nations is really, really good result, but uh, second, uh, a lot of times, you know, you, you want to you wanna win, win, so it's, it's kind of tough, but uh, we try our best, and you know, it's only one race, uh, three models, and... Uh, Anything can happen, you can DNF, have a back problem or whatever, you know. It's, uh, so that's why, yeah, that's a really tough race. Dude, it's pretty busy here in Germany, GP of Germany, uh, having a little autograph session. Kind of used to it from, uh, from the US, so, uh, but anyway, you know, this is what you have to do, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy that the fans are after us so much. Coming back to Germany is awesome, you know, um, it, it, I was not sure if I could do it because, you know, it's a long season over there and, um, and it's pretty tough, so, but in the end, you know, I, I just did it because uh, it's fun for me, it's fun to ride a bigger bike and the fans are going nuts here and, and you know, it's, it's just a lot of fun for me, it's a fun race and it's all I want to have. The goal is actually um, have a good start. No crashes for sure, but I, I'm pretty sure if I'm, you know, if I'm quite strong that I can really win a race. And I just, I want to surprise myself, you know, whatever I'm going to end up, this is what it is, and uh, I know I can do it. Today was an awesome day. You know, I went uh, third and second. The weather has been pretty good. The track has been kind of so-so. It was really sketchy in that last moto, but super, you know, I'm happy with my performance. It was a good experience on the, on the 450, and now we're, uh, we're heading to Lommel. Today we had a track in Germany uh, called uh, Greifenborch. It is uh, a huge uh, sand pit. It's real, real sandy. It's hard work to ride here, and uh, hard work, and you know, a little bit is bike setting, but mostly uh, for the riders to get used to those conditions, because we never race in, on similar conditions in the US.
line and uh, all three riders are, you know, they approach, they, they're really good and they, they're adapting uh, really well to the conditions and uh, each team has been working hard to, to make their bike fit and uh, walk the best possible on, on these conditions and of course, uh, with, you know, we, we can on paper, we always seem to be the favourite so it, some pressure comes with that but uh, we we never expect to be out of contention. The goal is, of course, winning always. If we finish second, it's kind of it's kind of a loss when we go back home, and everybody is gonna give us a half time. So we better we better do good and, and win again.